All right, so we are here at Extra Butter in Queens. Come on, man, Kieran. Kieran, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everyone? My name is Kieran Shastri. Uh, we're here at Extra Butter, man. Doing some stuff for India Rising. Yes, sir. Play, playing NFT NYC, man. Having a great week. Should have some fun, bro. Yes, sir. So first question, we kind of talked about this a little bit off camera. I heard from the grapevine that people call you Hawkeye. Yeah. Is I mean, this, where'd it come from? Honestly, <laughs> Um, just like I guess, honestly, I don't even watch Avengers, so I didn't know where it came from. But apparently, he's a uh, he's a, a sniper, a shooter, or something. Yeah, Hawkeye so is it sick, came, bro. So it That's... came it came with the with the territory, right? But man, I don't even know what Avengers. I mean, I don't know what Avengers are, but I haven't seen a full movie. <coughs> I'm, I'm gonna, get, honest, up, I'm gonna hey, get up and walk respect, out of the store. Hey, <laughs> respectfully, respectfully, you know, I, I you know, I know what it, I know it's like. Great movies, but I've never been a big movie guy. To okay, be honest. that's that's and, fair uh, enough. That's fair enough. I, I, I didn't I grow up the like, like the one, the one like DC Marvel. Like yeah. I couldn't really tell you the difference, to be honest. I, but I know Batman I, is my. Is I'm my, disappointed in you so many black. levels, but I'm also like still I, I'm, so happy because you're you're a cool I'm, dude. You yeah, know, so I'm, it's like, like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep I'm, it real. I'm gonna let this I'm slide. I know uh, a lot of people are like. When I uh, when I'm telling them they're very disappointed, <laughs> and I'm like, and I tell them I'm gonna be better. I'm gonna watch, and I okay. So at least at least later line. we'll show you who Hawkeye is, so okay, you can okay. see. But Hawkeye's sick. He's like okay. the most accurate like bow and arrow shooter. Okay, okay so yeah. it makes sense that, that that's you. That. How long has your range been like this good? Like, cause you're a shooter right? at the end of the day. Like, yeah. Uh, man. So I'm. You know, this is something I've been working on for a while. You know. Um, and my goal was like in high school, I wanted to be able to shoot at a professional level. Yeah. Like. So that's something I really worked on uh, with, with my craft. Um, you know, my dad was a big part of helping me shoot. You know, my uncle was also a big part, you know. So just through them, started started building, 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 and you know, just keeping proper fundamentals was, was my thing. And then you just gotta keep pushing the limits. You kind of can't yep. get satisfied being in the, in the area. And you know, in college, I wasn't the most athletic or the quickest. So I knew if I had range, you know, I, I would be able to stay on the floor. Exactly. So I kind of found something that, that I was good at and, and, that, yeah. and, that, and that, that helped me stay on the floor. What was, obviously you can't tell the, the entire thing, but what was like the training routine? Like what's like the basics that really allowed you to get to where you are right now? Yeah, man. I mean, it's uh, honestly the way I was taught to how to shoot was very different than like growing up, you know, they, they was telling us really high release, you yeah. gotta jump high, you know, and all this stuff, and I shoot the exact opposite. I barely jump, I yeah. have a very low release point. You know, people are gonna be like, yo, in the college level, you're not gonna get your shot off and get blocked. But, you know, through repetition, man, I was able to kind of quicken it up. And with the range, I was able to find find some uh, some success. And, you know, everyone had, had something to say when I was younger about my shot, you know, trying and changing it. But I, I, you know, just kind of, Stayed the course yeah. and uh, you made it, it your own. Out. Yeah, man. Yeah, so it's uh, it's it's cool and uh, you know that's why I'm. I think shooting was taught incorrectly and I'm trying to you know. I would like to teach shooting. I would try, you know, but that's something I'm trying to work with as yeah. I continue playing, you know, inspiring and trying to show. Cause a lot of people ask me, you know, how, what of are course. some tips. So I'm trying to work on a plan to uh, put out to people and try and help them make it a concise thing on how to shoot better. So. I love that. Can we get, can we give a quick, like free simple tip right now yeah. to, someone, to everyone watching? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, very important is, is hand placement and ball placement, right? So you always, before your two feet are set, you want to have your hand on top of the ball. You want to have it close to your body, a one, one motion shot, right? Yep. So hand on top of the ball before the two feet are set. I like to have it in the fingers on the ridges and one hand release, man. You know, it's, uh, if I had a ball, it'd be a little easier to explain to you, but you know, you gotta have a mental checklist, you know, yeah. when, when things are going wrong, you gotta be able to re revert back to, to, what's, to what's happening. So um, those are just a few things that I keep in mind, try and tell myself daily before I go into the gym and one, two, three, four, and just kind of keep going, man. So basically stay tuned for the Karen Shastri, oh. AKA Hawkeye shooting program. Yeah, hey, it's coming <laughs> it's soon. It's in it's development and coming soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've had a, a dope career. You, uh, it's, I'm, I'm not saying that, in the way that it's over because you're still so young yeah. still so many years to play but what are some of the the moments that you remember the most so far man it's been uh i mean just from like i went to college in hawaii man just just <laughs> where where basketball is taking yeah. me is sick man i went to college in hawaii um i played in japan the philippines uh india china yeah. like all through asia i was just in switzerland so you know, when you go to these different places, you meet meet new people, you see different cultures, and it really opens your eyes up to like what what's out there in the world. You know, 
Growing up, I was in the Bay. I mean, it was very diverse, but sometimes it could be like a bubble. And so once you get out and uh, kind of see see different people, it, yeah. it, it opens your eyes up to, to a lot of things. So it was I'm very I'm very grateful for it's that. Like, for it's that like part. that bigger bit bigger than basketball. Yeah, like, uh, mindset. 100 percent. Yeah. I'm just blessed that basketball has been a vehicle for that yep. to be able to to take me to to different places. So in Switzerland this past year, yep. you had a crazy season. Yeah. A lot of highlights. Yep. Uh, I was getting hyped up seeing the social media clips. Yeah. You led, you led the league in scoring. Yeah. What was that like, bro? <laughs> Uh, it was crazy, man, because, you know, uh, I, I joined the team. I, I didn't, I wasn't signed there in the beginning of the year. Okay. So I joined them, you know, the American uh, that was there before got hurt. So they oh, called wow. me in and, uh, you know, they, they had kind of written off the season. You know, the team wasn't doing too well. And, I, you know, they kind of gave me the keys and just said, you know, we, we bring you in here for a reason. Show us what you can do. And, you know, when a coach has confidence in you and you got uh, teammates that have confidence in you, uh, it just allows you know your game to flourish. So I was able to get shots, and you know sometimes you get a little lucky, man. You know the, <laughs> the shots go in. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you, you, see, you start getting they hot. Start flowing, and uh, yeah. you know. Uh, but it was cool, man. I was uh, I was really appreciative of the opportunity. Hopefully, I can build on it. And I would love to go back to Switzerland. It's a, it's a great country, and uh, yeah, I had, I had a lot of fun there. That's dope. Yeah. Do you? How would you describe like your shooting? Because like a lot of people can, you know, they say like the term microwave. Mm -hmm. Like you hit that one, you yeah. see that you see that net flick yeah, up and it yeah. go in and you yeah. go off. Is that how your mindset is wired too? Like if, if if that one drops, you're you're feeling it. Yeah, man. I mean, I you know it sounds kind of crazy, but I, like I feel like every shot I shoot is it, you got yeah. you got to think this way. Every gonna shot go is gonna go in, yeah. right? So even if you miss a couple, you gotta have that mentality. The next one's yep. going in, and you know that's how you. It's, stay hot you know or, and then if i see one going I'm, I'm i'm hunting man i'm looking for the next one i'm not even gonna lie to you you know so and it's not just shooting too i like to play uh, like other parts of my game you know attack driving kick and stuff but once you see that first one first one uh go in definitely gets the blood flowing. yeah it gets you, it gets uh, yeah. you pumped up it, man it, it gets you excited, especially when you like people think of you as a shooter and you know you, you see yeah. that first one and that's what it's all about. But you know, mentally, you just gotta be gotta be present for each one. Yep. Even if you miss a couple, the next one, next one's going in. I feel like you got hella gems to give out. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know yeah, what I mean. You got yeah. hella gems to give out. Yeah. Like, you're so seasoned, right? Yeah. But it's but crazy because I went like that jump. Like I, I felt like I was just a young guy. Yeah. And it's, you turn into a vet like really quickly. And I, didn't, <laughs> I don't even think yeah. I am. But you know. Just through just through playing and seeing different places, yeah. you, you definitely pick up playing with a lot of great players. You pick up exactly. like different things from each person, and you just try and lock it in, write it down. Who, just speaking on that, who's yeah. been like that player that you can say that that's been like, yo, that's like the OG or the person I've learned the most yeah. from? Well, yeah, I was very lucky in college. I had great great vets. You know, um, when I was a freshman, uh, I came in and my. Uh, my t my seniors were really good, man. The, I have guys that played at Oregon State that came so, over, and a lot of guys that you know taught me about work ethic and you know, staying in the gym, and uh, that kind of built built uh, a foundation for me in college. And then you know playing with Indian Bick a lot uh, in the in, three on three. in the in the three on three striking, yeah. man, it was sick. I learned a lot from then. Um, and you know when you were with like we we were together every day for like four or five six months so you know we're always working we're always trying to uh, push each other to get yeah. better so and um, when you see somebody working hard it inspires you to work hard Absolutely. as well so yeah you, you don't want to be the one that's not that's being lazy yeah you know you it encourage and pushes each other so. Those two have, have uh, helped me out a lot as well. That's dope. You gotta surround yourself with the right people, right? Push yourself forward. All right, let's walk and talk. I got a couple more things to kind okay. of go over with you. Obviously, yeah. you got the cool grays on. Yes, sir. So man, yes, sir. man's got some. He's got a little bit I of style. Got it, he's got. He knows. You know. He knows what's going on. Obviously, we're in extra butter. We're in, we're in sneaker heaven, right? So we gotta talk about the Jays a little bit. Yes, sir. I, I, I know we talked about this before. Obviously, I want to show you the ones. Yes, the ones. But then I obviously want you to pick up any other pair that kind of tracks your eye. Yeah. But to me, like, I'm not wearing my ones right now, so yeah. I'm looking silly asking this question. But one of my favorite silhouettes is the ones. The ones it might be sure. generic, but what's what's your favorite silhouette in, in Jays? Um, ones for sure. I got the I got the Hyper Royals. Okay. And I've been I cashed out for those, man. Yeah, I, 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 I know you paid. Up, I, I know you paid a pretty penny for, a for those. Bit, but <laughs> I told myself it was like I really I really like that that uh, that colorway, and I really wanted a pair of ones. I told myself I, I, I would do it. I also like, I mean, these are also my, I mean, like one of my favorite OGs, ones. I, when they came out in cool 2011, yeah. I was, uh, actually, I went to go see 
uh, Juan Anderson played, and he was rocking them at the, in the state title game. Juan Toscano? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. wow. Yeah, JTA, okay. He, uh, he, he was rocking these in the state title game, and they, they were clean, they were playing De La Salle. And ever since then, I was like, I need to get a pair. These ones are uh, tough I see you too. look at them, they're these tough, they're tough. tough. The colorway's tough too. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan. I like, I like Air Maxes too. I okay, Air Max guy, yeah. Too. If there money was no obligation, you can have any pair of sneakers right now on your feet. Is there one that in your mind you're like, man, I would love to have that pair on, on my um, feet? Not anything. Well, I, I'm I'm picking Kobe's dog. Kobe's? Uh, Kobe. Oh, which ones? Be, um, there's some there's so some I'm good going, Kobe's, bro. I'm going draft day. Draft day. Uh, the Charlotte colorway, like the blue, Ooh. white blue ones. I tried to get. I tried to the get. The Charlotte uh, colorway yeah, is nice. I tried to get. Uh, tried to get my hands on those. I couldn't. Yeah. Too much. Too much. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. But uh, I got I got the fives of the the Bruce Lee's. I really like those. Those are great great hoop shoes, man. The Bruce I was Lee's. playing in those uh, yeah. yesterday. I just yeah I, was, I just yeah. saw you wearing yeah. those. Yeah yeah. So I really those like those. Those are classics too. Yeah. I'm trying to save those. Like only wear them like in games. You can't. Yeah. You, I don't yeah, probably you can't break bust those up. Because if I once <laughs> once those go, I'm gonna be so sad. Yeah. I'm gonna have to save up for like months to get another pair. So. <laughs> so there you have it. Obviously, basketball is so much bigger. The culture involves sneakers, style, food, art, music, so much more. Sure. I want to give you the floor right now. Yeah. to kind of send a message to everyone watching and listening. You've obviously inspired so many people to, to play basketball and obviously the brown skin, yeah. everything revolving around the India Rising mission. So if you want to drop something motivational um, or a, yeah. a piece of advice, any tip, the floor yeah, is yours. Yeah. I mean, no, I just uh, really appreciate being out here uh, this week in NYC, connecting with brown hoopers, kind of pushing the, the mission forward. And, you know, I think there's a lot of good stuff uh, coming with India Rising. Stay tuned. Follow, support, share, please. We love, we we love, we love it all, and uh, appreciate y'all.